Hey, it's all with another video on a Sunday. And today I want to talk about the current discourse around rep grinding in the world of Warcraft and hopefully offer a solution that you're probably not going to like anyway. So this is going to be a bunch of bad takes. I'm just going to be throwing my thoughts into this most present conversation. If you don't mind, if you could uh, like the video, subscribe for more content. And I don't have a great way to lead us up into the subject, except to say that presently folks are very unhappy about the principles of reputation and its rewards in the world of Warcraft. Rap has almost always been a topic of discussion and debate. It was a big thing in 9.1 with reputation and research and the Corthia grind. But right now, it's thanks mostly to the current discourse in the upcoming patch 9.2, which in its current PTR build, remember this is the PTR, uh, it has a really atrocious reputation grind in the new zone, Zareth Mortis. I happened to dive into this most current build just yesterday and well, I completed the campaign and I got a whopping 2000 reputation for completing all seven of the available chapters. According to Wowhead, a very extreme amount of grinding is needed throughout the zone between farming rares and completing dailies and world quests and hopefully finding treasures that offer reputation bonuses. It kind of sells this narrative that a daily circuit, a daily circuit of the entire zone is required to obtain your customizable legendary power slot thing within five or so weeks of the patch launching. Now, it's one thing to have a long grind, but the feeling of that grind being forcefully separated into daily chunks has not sat well with people. I know some of you got your pitchforks out and you're swinging them already, but I want to kind of lay out a little bit more context because when we step back, this particular example is a lot more complicated than just that. Like that 2000 rep that I mentioned from completing the campaign, like it, that's a small amount. That does really suck. Obtaining the legendary memory it kind of feels like a hard grind when we think about it like that. But the final quests of that campaign, well, they did give me a shiny legendary belt. Like, ooh, look at that. Just for doing the campaign and I did almost literally nothing else outside of that. But then we get into the conversation about if you want to move legendaries. Oh, but you can scrap that legendary. Oh, but you still need to buy a new base piece. Oh, so why don't you start working towards that now if you know it already? Well, it's because it's the principle of the thing. Oh, okay, so you'd rather like do a month or whatever of grinding instead of just redoing the campaign again on an alt because it only takes like three hours or so. I don't mean for it to go that far, but I'm gonna kind of peel away from that part of the discussion. I'm gonna offer a more realistic solution in this most present conversation, like you know, kind of an early takeaway in case you wanna bounce. Instead of reputation being spread across rares and treasures and world quests and dailies, how about you just put most of it on the weekly quest? Like have all that rep that would have been there, put it on the weekly. Oh, okay, it's actually bi-weekly in 9.2. I sort of predict that that's the original plan, that this bi-weekly quest happens to be bugged right now, and it's meant to give like a boatload of reputation. Like that's why the other rewards from other resources, um, from other sources were nerfed. One adjustment on that bi-weekly quest to give a lot of reputation, and that would put many concerns to rest because our attention would then turn towards this big beefy weekly quest. The small amounts that, of reputation that we get from other sources, they can give players a small advantage, but it's not meant to be the primary source of reputation that we think it is now. And yet, that doesn't really mitigate the discourse, does it? Players will still tell themselves, or the YouTuber will still pressure them, or the invisible principal will still compel them to log in every day for those little scraps of rep, and that feels bad. So we kind of come back to this talking about reputation and why we got here and why we shouldn't have, because we had something pretty good, maybe even great, just earlier in Shadowlands, and that's Renown. Stop that. Some of you must think I'm a pretty crazy person for even suggesting that. Well, stick around for a few more minutes while this crazy person does his crazy talk. Renown is definitely not 
perfect, but it's one of the most thoughtful evolutions of endgame character progression that we've seen in the world of Warcraft. It's the dark horse of Shadowlands in my opinion, and it's going to be the jumping off point for where reputation can go in WoW's future. You might think it shouldn't because it's time gating. And I'm not going to dismiss your feelings of dissatisfaction because, well, waiting kind of sucks. But what's worse, having to log in each day, having to log in each week or season? Like I said, Renown is not perfect, but man, it is, again, my opinion, it's a good compromise between the many player behaviors in this game, as well as the developers who want to deliver a more or less cohesive experience. Renown sort of feels like, or sort of felt like leveling. You get stuff on a fairly consistent basis, from like cosmetics to features, you got a stamina buff, you got reminders that a new campaign chapter was available, ooh, riveting. It's got a built-in catch-up if you're a new player or if you're on an alt, you're never that far behind. And throughout Shadowlands, Renown as a feature was iterated on and improved because again, it wasn't perfect, they were trying to improve it. And the catch-ups got better, from getting more Renown per activity to guaranteed Renown to account-wide tradable boosts. And that sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? Because a lot of folks over the years have been clamoring for account-wide reputation or at the very least a way for your main to unlock like a tabard or a boost or something to unlock faster rep gain on alts. That's referred to like numerous times in discussions. And yet, many haven't quite realized that we just went through something remarkably similar to that with Renown. It's not exactly what some want, but it's a decent compromise, isn't it? And Renown comes from a variable number of sources, depending on how you play. If you're at the front line during 9.1, you ran Corthia. You can wait a whole week to work on it. You could do it in one day, or one sitting, or one song. First you get the anima quest, then you go to Corthia, get the questies dual lap, and get the res and squirrels and stuff. Up you go into the maw and help your covenant friends, kill the world boss, head back south, and then your journey ends. Yay. Yeah, remember that little horror show? I ran that jingle for like weeks, but that's how simple the routine was. And what if you did miss a week? Oh no, you're behind. But how behind? You had tons of sources, like extra objectives from Threads of Fate. You had dungeons and raids and PvP and Torghast and multiple quest campaigns that you've been neglecting. I have guildmates who did nothing but raid log throughout this season, but they got to this Renown cap, and it's a nice little surprise. If a higher Renown cap was announced for 9.2, people would have been groaning. Absolutely but we'd also know exactly what we're getting into. We've already had 80 Renown, what's like 20 more? And I bet you the legendary recipe and the belt, it could and would have been gifted with Renown. Unlocking the different pillars for the Cypher Research Console, you know, remember when we were complaining about that a few weeks ago? Anyway, what if the research was a bit gated by Renown? Well, that'd probably be bad, so let's not get too gung-ho on this, okay? My opinion, but I challenge you, I challenge you to think about this. And I know for some of you it's not easy because not everyone participates in the PTR, that's okay. But if some of this Xerath Mortis stuff was behind Renown instead of Reputation, would players be having such an intense conversation as they are now, knowing how Renown would have been obtained? 9.2, this is kind of a hypothetical, but 9.2 almost would have mirrored 9.1. You'd have two weekly quests to, I don't know, get a thousand anima and to complete the weekly quest in Xerath Mortis. I mean, maybe that's the vision, maybe that could have been the vision because there's like a bi-weekly quest and it could have been too renowned. But anyway, here's the gist. You would just pick up that weekly quest and then do the new world boss. You do a round of dailies, world quests, and rares, and treasures, and then your journey ends. Yay. Two renown a week for the folks up front, and you're good for the rest of the week. Get to max renown on your main, you unlock some other account-wide boost for your alt. This sounds very familiar. It's also exactly, it's also not exactly what people are asking for, but it's hard to deny that Compared to what we're seeing right now in this build, it's preferable. Back to the conversation though, these days reputation as it is, it's just outdated. It's boring. It doesn't even have quest milestones like in Mist of Pandaria, and I totally miss those. However, reputation does serve a purpose, just like levels and daily or weekly lockouts and more. 
And it's because in their design, the WoW team clearly wants to take like the first month or two of a patch or a season to give players as even of a playing field as possible. Caps and time gating for the frontliners, catch-ups and boosts for the folks in the back, with a very clear line that no one is going to have access to a certain thing, like a legendary, until they say so. In 9.2, that's going to be managed not by Renown, but by the campaign, which is almost the same thing. And it's why we just get a legendary item given to us at the end of the seventh chapter. Renown just happens to do it all, but can it replace reputation in the future? As it is, heck no, absolutely not. But with a few suggestions, I think we can make something better. Now here's the idea, and it's not retroactive, like new folk are gonna have to suffer like we did for some of that old reputation. And of course, this is just an incomplete idea. It's gonna be full of holes. You're not gonna like certain things, but it doesn't mean no, it means how can we do it better? Anyway, let's have a new reputation feature that borrows some of the good stuff from Renown, which includes like having a big weekly quest that gives massive amounts of reputation and lots of different activities that can contribute to this weekly quest. So you're not just gonna get rep from rares or dailies, you're also going to get like 5%, 10% credit towards the weekly. This really should sound familiar. And every new reputation is gonna have a weekly quest that you work on with all sorts of different activities that contribute to the filling up of this bar. There's gonna be probably a bit of overlap too, like maybe completing a certain dungeon or world quest will give credit towards more than one reputation. With respect to pacing though, there is gonna be a cap to how much rep you can get per week, maybe per week. And that'll be mostly communicated by the weekly quest, which will by and far be the biggest sources of this reputation. Alts or new players who join in late can continue to farm these quests and world quests and maybe just killing mobs and rares or whatever until they're caught up to that certain level. The way that I look at it, each time we hit a milestone like reaching friendly or honored or revered and so on, maybe it'll unlock an account wide milestone automatically just boom that gives a rep bonus to alts until they get close to that level. And on top of that, either at exalted rep or later in a content patch plus having exalted rep, then you unlock something. Now an item is made available that lets alts skip a few of these milestones, like skipping from neutral to honored or something like that, and can still enjoy the other rep boosts that have been unlocked. Now I'm sure that'd be a pain in the ass to implement, but that's the sort of vision that I kind of see in WoW's future. I hope I didn't leave too many holes there. Players want to be able to hard farm reputation. I get it. Blizzard wants to carefully pace how quickly certain rewards are given out. I get that too. Maybe the long-term solution is to make reputation 100% cosmetic, sort of like how they did with Warlords of Draenor. The only way that I can see a hard farm being a thing again, from neutral all the way to exalted, would be to severely limit what's given. Like for example, look at the avowed reputation in Revendreth, which gives some important recipes early on, but long term, it's not that big of a deal. Personally, I sort of buy into the idea of being renowned with a faction, and they grant me their greatest reward from their vendor, which I have to buy, okay, but hopefully you know what I mean. The discussion on reputation is ongoing, and I wanted to share my thoughts and what turned out to be, well, actually a lot of me talking, but I'd like to hear what you think. Specifically, how well Renown worked for you? Is there something to be taken away, or should we go back to just hard farming for the good stuff? Because, well, we sort of had that now with legendary ranks too for professions, and, well, okay. Anyway, thanks for listening. Like and subscribe, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy. Thank you.